Do you do you know what we're here for? Equal parts. Oh my gosh. Illegal. Uh, people aren't illegal. It's a great point. He's the one saying it, and I'm just sort of you're right. I am repeating it, though. That's my fault. Undocumented people. That's what happens when you're forced to listen to this stuff daily. It's like a, it's like a, um, it's like an RFK brainworm. How do you catch it? Catch it? The pokey? The Pokemon on Twitch? That's a good question. I think there's a good way to look it up. <laughs> Might be on the about page. I think the rules are on there, like on my Twitch. If you go there, it was a little um, what do you call it? Like a little window, like a pop out window that you can click. Okay, let's go here. This is MSNBC from five hours ago. They got some more footage of that speech we just saw from Trump there a couple videos back. Here's Trump talking about tariffs. He's a big fan of tariffs, but doesn't seem to completely understand them. Donald Trump has made tariffs one of the cornerstones of his campaign. And over the weekend, he claimed, without providing any evidence, that tariffs would not impact American taxpayers. We're going to be a tariff nation. It's not going to be a cost to you. It's going to be a cost to another country. I heard Kamala the other day, Comrade Kamala. She said, oh, Illegal. if you do that, he's raising your taxes. No, no, no. I'm not raising your taxes. I'm raising China and all of these countries in Asia and all over the world, including China. Hold on one second. <clears throat> Just gonna do this. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Why is this not working? Alright, whatever. <clears throat> anyway, we all know here at this chat what the uh, tariff is, I believe. But it's something that uh, American corporations and consumers have to pay whenever a good is, uh, which is which falls under that tariff, enters the country. That's just how it works. the The importer is not like you know the people that are sending it to the United States. They're not the ones who pay it, right? The people accepting it here. Zero Megastar gifted a hey. tier one subscription to Nawal underscore by underscore nature. Thanks for the gifted sub there, Omega Star Narwhal by nature. You just received a. Gifted tier one from Omega. All right, this isn't just a little more of this ridiculousness. The European Union, by the way, which is one of the most egregious. That, I mean, that's just a lie. And he knows it's a lie. And everybody that is a host on other networks that will lie about his lies, they know it's a lie. All right, that's exactly as much Joe Scarborough as I can handle at one point. That was, I think, s nearly seven seconds of of Morning Joe, <clears throat> which is genuinely way too much Morning Joe. Let's be real. It's going over by like two seconds on the amount of Morning Joe I can handle per week. All right, let's keep this moving. Let's go here. They must have upped his suit of Eddos, maybe. He did seem a little bit more peppy than he did at the uh, Economic Council of New York meeting, which we've been seeing a lot of footage of. Speaking of which, let's go to that right now. <laughs> this is from four days ago from Forbes Breaking News. This is Trump answering questions about child care. If, uh, I think we didn't do much of this, but there was actually a panel at this economic forum of New York, or if you recall this thing, um, of people with questions prepared um, and whatever else to ask Donald Trump uh, live. This was one of the moments that happened here. Let's see what Donald oh, Trump's solution to childcare is. 
And the final question, Resma, is to you. Thank you. Um, President Trump, you, you talked about how the increase in the price of food, gas, and rent is hurting families. But the real cost that's breaking families' backs and preventing women from participating in the workforce is childcare. Help, help. Child care is now more expensive than rent for working families and is costing the economy more than $122 billion a year, making it one of the most urgent economic issues that is facing our country. In fact, the cost of child care is outpacing the cost of inflation, with the majority of American families of young children spending more than 20 percent of their income on child care. One thing that Democrats and Republicans have in common is that both parties talk a lot about what they're going to do to address the child care crisis, but neither party has delivered meaningful change. If you win in November, can you commit to prioritizing legislation to make child care affordable? And if what specific... Look at Larry Goodlow over here in the back, like in the shadows. This guy... <laughs> This guy is the fucking worst. I'll bet he, if, if Donald Trump were to win, <clears throat> hypothetically, could lose back in the administration. Hands down. I'll put money on that right now. Legislation, will you advance? Well, I would do that, and we're sitting down. You know, I was uh, somebody. We had uh, Senator Marco Rubio, and my daughter Ivanka was so uh, impactful on that issue. It's a very important issue, but I think. When you talk about the kind of numbers that I'm talking about, that because look, child care is child care. It's, couldn't you know? There's something you have to have it in this country. You have to have it. Uh, but when you talk about those numbers compared to the kind of numbers that I'm talking about by taxing foreign nations at levels, <laughs> I'm sorry. Not... Uh, a what now? <laughs> so he's gonna solve. <clears throat> he's gonna solve. The child care cost crisis with tariffs and uh, <laughs> I'm I'm in foreign policy. I'm very confused what's happening. You feel like I don't appreciate your contributions? What? That's ridiculous. <clears throat> what contributions specifically are you referring to? Oh, I see you commented way back here about some Canadian stuff, which I didn't see. It's fair. I mean, chat's pretty lively tonight. I, you know, I miss stuff. It's nothing personal. I appreciate everybody's comments. Okay. Um, sorry. Let's go back to. Hold on. I gotta. I lost my train of thought. Let's go back here. Ten seconds. In this country, you have to have it. Uh, but when you talk about those numbers compared to the kind of numbers that I'm talking about by uh -huh. taxing foreign nations at levels that they're not used to, but they'll get used to it very quickly. And oh, it's not okay. going to stop them from doing business with us, but they'll have a very substantial tax when they send product into our country. Uh, those numbers are so much bigger than any numbers that we're talking about, including child care, that it's going to take care. We're going to have, I, I look forward to having no deficits within a fairly short period of time, coupled with... Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. so he's gonna, for a second, <clears throat> while he was, like, in there, while he was going, I was like, wait, is Donald Trump going to, quote-unquote, tax China, even though we know that tariffs are going to tax Americans, but is he going to somehow use this tax money to fund a socialist, like, uh, nationally funded child care sort of apparatus that just sort of handles all of this for people. I mean, what what's the plan? Then he's like, "No, we're going to we're going to pay down the deficit. That'll solve it. That'll get you, that'll get your kid watched for sure." Uh, the reductions that I told you about on waste and fraud and all of the other things that are going on in our country because I have to stay with childcare. I want to stay with childcare, but those numbers uh -huh. are small yeah. relative. It's so small. It's not a big deal. Numbers. That I'm it's really not a big deal. I know that you said it's a big deal to you, but it's not a big deal to me. It's, it's small potatoes. What's more important is tariffs and the deficit, of course. The deficit will, in fact, get your child. You know, all of the, all of the care that they need. Talking about including growth, but growth mm. also headed up by what the plan is that I just uh, that I right. just oh, well, yeah, yeah. we're going to be getting in trillions of dollars and as much as child care trillions of American dollars 
just people like from Americans. Uh, is talked about as being expensive. It's relatively speaking, not very expensive compared to the kind of numbers we'll be taking in. We're going to make this into an incredible country. Okay, so maybe he's going to make communist, socialized child care. It's not clear. It's really not clear. He's not saying it. But it would basically just be a very circuitous way of taxing people and paying for child care if that were the case. Now, I don't think that's the case. I think he's just planning on, you know, claiming that this tax plan will fix it, of course, you have to be really, really stupid to believe it. Also, just to understand it, <laughs> I feel like you have to be smarter than you have to be to believe it. So basically, I can't. I don't see anybody believing this. <clears throat> it's like a floor ceiling type situation, like mathematically, right? All right, let's go here. Majority report from four hours ago. What is Dave Rubin really getting paid for? Do you, do you know what we're here for? Equal parts. Oh my gosh. Illegal. 